Leaves come in so many different shapes and sizes. Why not pop outside to the garden and find a few leaves yourself and bring them in? Then follow my tutorial where I'll show you how to draw a variety of leaves and I'll also shade one to give you an example of how to shade yours. We're now going to draw the classic leaf. Start with the stem and two straightish lines. Then gently curve into a large oval that has a tip at the top. Notice the very tip isn't straight, it's slightly curved. Now for the central vein going along the middle. Again, don't keep it dead straight, curve the vein. Make sure it's fatter at the bottom and gets thinner and thinner towards the tip of the leaf. Now for the side veins. Again, they start thicker near the central vein and thinner towards the edge. Now for the veins on the other side. These veins do not come from the same place on either side. Notice that on one side they're slightly lower and on the other side they start a little higher. Again, they are fatter near the middle, near the central vein and they get thinner as they get to the edge of the leaf. Let's try drawing a heart-shaped leaf. A giant curved line on one side and then a lower curved line on the other. Curve the central vein, make sure it's fatter at the end of the leaf and thinner at the tip of the leaf. Now look at how the curves of these lines of veins come from the central vein. They don't stick out at a 90 degree angle, they curve gently round. Let's try a long, thin, jaggedy edged leaf. Now the central vein, keep it thin. And again, the side veins they don't come from the same place either side. One vein is slightly higher, the other is lower. Dry dead leaves can be actually very interesting to draw. They still have leafy shapes about them, but they are deformed and wrinkled. So you have to really look carefully when you draw them to get those shapes right. We're now going to draw a leaf where you can see a bit of the bottom of the leaf folded over the top of the leaf. You can see here, this bit is folded over. So we're seeing a bit of the underneath of the leaf with its veins. Now we're putting in the central vein which is hidden slightly behind the bit that's folded over. Now again, look at the shape of the side veins that come off. They kind of curve round following the shape of the leaf. We can see some of them in the top of the leaf and then just a little bit of the back of the leaf peeping out up there. Here's your heart-shaped leaf, but some of the leaf is hidden behind where we can't see it. Again, you can see the curve of the central vein, but look where the side veins begin. Not all of them come from the central vein. Some of them are hidden and they come from the top of the leaf, just here. 
again curving them round to follow the shape of the leaf. As you can see, I've rubbed out a few little sections to add some curves and interest to the edges of this leaf. I'm now going to add the really tiny little veins that come off the side veins. They're like little branches. Then I'm going to shade over these side veins. I'm holding the pencil further down and I'm pressing using the side of it. You can see I'm shading darker near the central vein and lighter towards the edge of the leaf. Some of those fine little veins won't be seen but it doesn't matter. It all adds to it looking a bit more realistic. You can shade the other side of your leaf. You can shade the stem a little bit. But I'm also going to show you how to add these heavier edges in certain parts where the leaf curves. This makes it again look more 3D and more realistic. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nash Henkel Art.